Extended producer responsibility is a policy instrument that is aimed at dealing with different waste streams and helping to increase recycling rates. What's important is that this policy tool does actually require producers to take responsibility for the end-of-life management of their products and to pay for the costs associated with these. Online sales are problematic because they exacerbate issues around free riding. Free riding essentially consists in producers not complying with their obligation to take back products at the end of life and not paying related producer fees. That's why we've focused our attention on electric and electronic equipment. What we found is that between 5 and 10 percent of the products on the market are actually not registered and not complying with extended producer responsibility systems and therefore not paying the associated fees. What can be done to address this issue are a number of things. First of all, it needs to be recognized that not all free riding is intentional. There are a number of awareness raising measures that could be taken. For instance, the multi-seller platforms such as Amazon and eBay could play a role in informing the sellers that operate on their platforms about their obligations. Second, to also address you know, those free riders that, that free ride intentionally, existing EPR regulation can be better enforced. Coordinated efforts could be made between enforcement agencies to address overseas offenders in order to reduce duplication of effort and reduce the cost of enforcement. And finally, including maybe a harmonized system for the registration of producers so that they would essentially follow the same procedure independently of the jurisdiction that they find themselves in. Here at the OECD, we've recently done some work on this and you will find a lot more detail uh, on this issue in our recent publication, Extended Producer Responsibility and the Impact of Online Sales, which is available from our website.